Hello, my name's Isaac, and this is Z Saga, and I'm going to play a little intro. Okay. Um, I don't have a name for that. I uh, just been messing around with it. So today's episode is not really brought to you by Fit Vine. It's the Fit Wine because look at this guy. He's fit. He's running, definitely in a running position. And then he's got like a freaking wine glass that I'm guessing he's parkouring while running so he can keep it full so he's like oh, 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 oh. and then he's got a bunch of grapes and like he's pretty jacked so um fit vine it's a uh wine I found in Safeway which was just it had three little like advertising things one said curl for the swirls and then the middle one said like pushbacks and relax and then the last one said leg lifts for the drips or something like that so very uh and they all had like pictures of people like curling a bottle of uh wine and like um, dipping with it it was silly so we crush grapes you crush life fit vine was born when friends got together to make wines that fit into their active lifestyles because wine is good for an active lifestyle <coughs> with rich flavor and low residual sugar fit vine won't hold you back if you're looking for a wine that champions the way you want to live your life Crushing it at work, crushing it at the gym, and crushing it at home with the family. Drink with us. Fit Vine. The Fit Wine. 13.4% alcohol by volume. 
Um, I obviously am joking, but um, for all you kids out there, alcohol is not good for you. Like, um, yeah. Obviously, I'm not going to try to tell anyone to do anything, but um, do your research and find out that even if something's called fit vine, it might not make you fit. So that's the first fake sponsor, which is a real company. Our second fake sponsor is a fake company, but yeah, we'll talk about that after the today's topic, which is... <coughs> rent because we talked a little bit about um, like the rent jubilee last time and how that's I mean it should happen but I agree it uh, might not but uh, today um, I was thinking about rent and how it's February there's 28 days in most Februarys which is three days less than quite a few months with 31. So that's three whole days, which is about 10% of the average month. So since um, money isn't a real resource like we talked about, and resources are, uh, one of those resources you could look at is uh, buildings and land, and um, rent is the way, um, I guess, that these landlords um, tie the resources to the monetary system, but we don't even do that right because... If I'm paying the same, let's say I pay $100 a month for rent. So I'm getting 28 days of rent for $100 this month. But next month, I get 31 days. I get 10%, more than 10% of, of February next month. Does that make any sense? I mean, I'm not saying, well, I kind of am saying, but a first step towards getting to what I would like to see would be to prorate all rent per day and maybe even per hour so that landlords can't rip us off 10% this month, like, 3% on 30 day weeks and like or maybe like the landlords would like it because they'd be like well um, we uh, charge $100 for 28 days so you get 3 extra days on longer months but this is not in any of these contracts that these supposedly intelligent lawyers and money makers and bankers write out like I have been prorated per day like at the beginning and end of a um, rent contract but we should do or at least push for daily rent because right now someone's getting ripped off like at, at most 10% in February and at least 3% um, in months that only have 30 days and I'm not even going to get started about our calendar system and how we keep track of things because that is all out of whack and I already have a, another project and probably a few videos to do on the whole calendar bullshit system that we use because I mean really it's based on the <laughs> new moon in 49 AD that's why January 1st is when it is 
but you should look into that yourself before I make a video on it but I'll, I'll, I'll get to it but that's not this video but anyways yeah so we have these randomly dayed months with 28 days 30 days 31 days 29 days sometimes in February and like why are we paying the same amount of rent each month when not all months are the same amount of time so why am I paying the same amount of rent each month that's stupid that doesn't make mathematical sense that doesn't make logical sense that only makes uh, lazy sense for people who um, probably know they're just you know resting on their laurels in this unsustainable system so <coughs> Um, that might even be a hard thing to broach with your landlord. Hey, uh, can I like pay 10% less on February since we have three less days? Um, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. So, uh, maybe tenants unions. Um, not every place has them. Uh, the one I know has um, has one is San Francisco Tenant Union, so maybe that's something you should get in contact with. Um, one of those kinds of things. Um, talk to people in your apartment complexes and um, roommates, other people you know who rent, um, because we could save 10% February's and 3% on 30 day months unless they make February the the average month rent because then we'll end up paying more in all the other months but uh, I think that would be um, disingenuous on the uh, calculators part as well because you should probably take the average length of a month and determine it that way and maybe that's what they do but still like if you're paying month to month no if you're paying year then they can say oh we're, we're averaging each month so you are paying per day but it's just averaged out over the whole year but they cannot say that when it's a month to month um, rent scheme so yes <laughs> um Talk to people you know, and maybe we can pay less rent on the way to paying no rent because it's all a dumb number game with subjectively created funny money. Um, <coughs> so yeah, um, rent strike until that happens, maybe. Um, but, I mean, especially with all that's going on now, I mean, there's a rent moratorium, it's a good time to restart how we do all this stuff, because we, if something doesn't make sense and isn't logical, and we have the technology and wherewithal to fix it, we probably should, because we're just lazy if we don't, and... Um, yeah. Sorry, landlords. Something's gonna have to change because this isn't working. Um, yeah. Our, uh, other sponsor is, again, Wipe My App. It's the, um, new gig economy app where, um, like a dog walking app, it's, it's like a dog walking app, except you're not picking up someone else's dog's poop. You're picking up someone else's poop off their ass. Um, because, I mean, you should be able to hire people to do everything for you. Like, <laughs> I didn't get a dog so I had to walk it and feed it. Like, I had, I've got a dog so I could hire other people to walk it. That's... I'm not going to walk my own goddamn dog. That's stupid. Jeez. What do I look like? My own slave? 
Like I'm going to have to do my own work? No. I have a desk job. I'm a teacher. On, I'm a substitute teacher, which is kind of a desk job, but I also don't have a dog. And if I had a dog, uh, I mean, I understand dog walking apps if it's like I'm going out of town. But like, come on. Don't we have community where you know someone who can do it? And I know, yeah, well, we're giving someone else a job. Yeah, well, we're giving a lot of people dumb jobs that you should probably do yourself. Um, yeah. I mean, I kind of also feel the same way about teaching. Like, But this is getting too long, so I'll get into uh, teaching and what I think about that in another video. Uh, so yeah, I've got a time video, a calendar video, a few of those, whatever. Um, uh, my ideas on teaching after subbing a lot. And uh, definitely got a few more um, ideas on property and money. So those will be coming up too. So, thanks for listening. I um, hope this wasn't too long. But, if so, I mean, you're probably not watching by now. So, have a great whatever weekday, weekend, day, month, year. Have a great whatever. And, uh, Peace out. Right on.